Or maybe we should lean back. Wait. No, that was good. Wait, just like this. Yeah. I but just think we're too it. we're too square. Like we're too like you know no, in a TV. We're good, we're good. Hey guys. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to speak about um, intercollegiate halls and accommodations that you can apply to for your first year at university. Yeah. So intercollegiate halls are for basically all the University of London universities other than Imperial. Mm -hmm. And so all, each university will have its own halls, usually I think, they'll, have, they'll offer their own. Or if you prefer to be in a hall that has people from like, you know, other unis in London. It depends what you're looking for, but these yeah. can be a good option. They're usually more sociable and I really advise to go into mm -hmm. intercollegiate halls in your first year. I don't mm -hmm. know, you didn't go into I didn't do intercollegiate, but um, I really enjoyed it. everyone had a good time. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Especially, yeah, if your university doesn't have a lot of places, mm -hmm. there's a lot of space in the intercollegiate halls. So, mm -hmm. and they're always really big, yeah, they're always really sociable. And um, it's nice because you can meet people from different, like, faculties mm -hmm. and from, yeah, different universities. Yeah, it's just, it's a nice mix. The first colleges that we know of and we want to talk about, so the first one is College Hall. Yeah, which um, is yeah. by, really close to UCL and, like, SOAS area. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, as far as I know, like a really good sociable hall. Halls. Um, yeah, it's really social. We know yeah. a friend who went there. She yeah. enjoyed it. The only thing I would say about college is it's quite outdated in, inside. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for something more modern and more, uh, yeah, like comfortable, uh, I think it's might not be so great. But if yeah. your main concerns are like having a good time and being close to uni, if you're mm -hmm. at uh, UCL for example then mm. I would really recommend it yeah um, and it's also the same for Connor Hall yeah so they're, they're basically they're in the same area yeah right? they're next yeah. to not next to each other but they're really close mm -hmm. um, and it's a similar vibe like very sociable yeah really good location if you go to UCL if you go, yeah sorry or, it's by Euston yeah, Road so yeah. you can um, walk to uni yeah but again not that nice on the inside. Mm -hmm. Although both of these halls, like they're probably due renovation soon because they they do like update them every few years. Um, yeah. You think? I know they've been doing, <laughs> yeah they've been doing that with UCL halls. Really? Like there are a few. I don't know. They've been just slowly going through them. it. I don't know how they do it, but these halls literally I don't think they've been like renovated for like twenty years or more. So mm -hmm. they yeah. So that's something to look out for, I guess. Um, but right now, yeah, they're they're good, sociable, fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and then there's Lillian Penson Hall, and so I stayed there for my first year, and um, it's also not renovated, so it's mm -hmm. inside is very old, um, but I had such a great time there. I made really good friends. Um, it's located in Paddington, which is far from all the campuses like UCL, mm -hmm. LSE, Kings, so that's why I relocated to Garden Halls during my first year, but. I really made good friendships, so... Yeah, it's also yeah. a fun hall. It's a fun hall, and it's catered. Yeah, if you don't mind location so much. Although Paddington is, is hardly like that far out. It's but not if that you, far out. A lot of people in first year, they want to literally be like on the Walking like, distance. Yeah, like, it would so it's quite nice. Out. You can just like, you know, it's a five, ten minute walk to uni. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get that again, probably. So, if you, yeah, you yeah. might want to prioritise that. But yeah. if it doesn't matter so much, then I guess, yeah, Lillian and Penson's are good. Yeah, and it was catered so we would have breakfast included and uh, dinner, but some apartments or some rooms within the hall didn't include that, so mm. that's probably because they paid for like a kitchen or they mm. had a studio. So you can choose to either be catered or non-catered within intercollegiate halls and mm -hmm. halls in general. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think some of them are fully, I think for example College and Connell are just all catered. Mm -hmm. um, unless maybe you have a studio, I don't know if they have that option. Yeah. But um, and then for example, garden halls is like split. So I think most people are catered, but there's a whole like non catered block mm -hmm. of it, which is they're both really nice. Garden halls is just a really really nice hall. Also close to UCL, it's in Russell Square. Square. Mm -hmm. So uh, really so it's good close location. to Kings, yeah, yeah, UCL. yeah, everywhere really. Everywhere. Um, and it's huge. Yeah. It's, it was built really recently, mm -hmm. so really, really nice on the inside. Obviously, it's definitely like more expensive than 
the other like less is it really more expensive yeah definitely i would get a hundred pound a week more than some of them really i mean i don't know the prices have changed but it's definitely um i would i don't know i would think so mm -hmm. um i actually yeah. so i moved from lady and pantalon to garden halls and i think i paid i paid a bit more but the mm -hmm. thing about garden halls is that it's all renovated and it's mm -hmm. very modern. You're it's getting modern. what you pay. That's it. You're getting what you pay for. But the rooms so. are also so small. That's really yeah. the downside because oh, are they? like you have your bathroom and then you have your room, but it's really tiny. Oh, I don't know. Um, so whereas at in Lillian Penson, I had a lot more space. Like it mm. was just like a nice space so room, just not good like furniture or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but then there's a lot of like in garden. There's a load of like. Mm -hmm. communal areas right communal. like they have there's so much space downstairs yeah uh they just have like all these like study rooms yeah like, so they have like a study room and it's it's so useful because i would just go downstairs go to instead of going to the library and you can meet people within your hall just by studying beside them mm -hmm. so that was really nice and there's also a music room yeah and it's it's a catered hall so most people within yeah. garden halls are catered um, also, if you're non-catered, you can always you can, you can always pay pay for, for that meal. Say you want to eat a meal with your mm -hmm. friends one night, you can pay. I don't know how much it is, but it's not. It won't be a lot. But um, I think you were saying like it's probably cheaper like if you just didn't pay for catered. Yeah, like catered. If you're really really lazy and don't want to pay for tall in first year, then maybe mm -hmm. it's a good option. Yeah, but definitely. honestly, like the food. It's not great, I'd say. Like, Garden um, House is quite good, but like, yeah. Lillian Panton, for example. Yeah. Like, these older uh, halls probably won't have... Yeah. And the, the, the difference food. between, like, a catered room and a non-catered room, like, you could probably actually, if you don't mind cooking, can, uh, like, pay less by just getting non-catered and doing your own cooking and eating nicer food. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want that stress, like, you don't want the hassle of that in first yeah. year, that's, like... You but know, it's also enough. the social aspect of, like, going to eat in a dining room and yeah. meeting new people. Yeah. Like, Although kitchens can be, like stuff. I was in non-catered and kitchens are really fun as well. Yeah. Um, it, it's more, I guess, yeah, you might not like anyone in your kitchen. Like you don't know who's gonna, it's more of a, um, like a smaller group of people rather than like in a huge dining room where mm -hmm. you can, but like it's quite, yeah. But either way, like you're gonna have fun, I'd say. Yeah. Um, but also some of the halls, the kitchens are like not that nice. But like garden, for example, they're not. They're like um, the kitchens of the non-catered people are mm. so nice. Yeah. So, and then you can also have studios, which I don't really recommend because you're uh, yeah. you don't really have that social aspect. Yeah. You're just like cooking with. I don't know anyone well. who really. Much I, don't, I think. Oh really? really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> And then there's International Hall, and uh -huh. that's really close to Gardens as well. Yeah, uh, and like it's next to like the Brunswick. So yeah, the Brunswick is exactly. a cool place. Um, it's yeah, International Hall is massive. Mm -hmm. um, it looks a bit like a prison, <laughs> yeah. but it is really fun, I'd say. Um, yeah, people who were there, I think, had a good time. Yeah. Um, I don't know, is it catered? All catered or? I feel like it's catered. Definitely, I know it's mainly catered i think mm -hmm. um but i'm sure they probably have some non catered options but uh but everyone who i knew what that went there was very like sociable like yeah. party person like went out a lot during yeah. the week <laughs> like, oh really yeah i yeah. had two, two friends there yeah um and it's so close to garden so you can if you have friends that go there you can mm, just that's so true walk. yeah honestly like wherever you end up like you probably are gonna have a good like there's gonna be people there who mm -hmm. you'll get on with like it is what you make of it and all these halls are really sociable mm -hmm. and i'd say the only two halls that we don't know of are notford house mm -hmm. and eleanor rosa house yeah so not for house like notford house is apparently it's on like oxford street or oxford street mm -hmm. um but we don't know anything about it we don't know anyone who went there but that might be because we it's like more popular with like lse or something like where, where we weren't at so maybe yeah. it's just but i don't even know of anyone who went there i don't I'm, i already have never heard of it yeah but that i don't know there's probably a reason for that it might be a really fun place and then and um, edna rosa which is in stratford mm -hmm. i think it must be new so it looks really really nice um very modern yeah but obviously 
Strat is quite a way out. So if you're at Essential London University, you might want to consider that. Mm -hmm. You might want to, you know, be closer to uni in first year. Um, but then again, say you're somewhere like Queen Mary, it might be a good option for you mm -hmm. because it's not too far. Um, yeah. And it does look really, really nice on the inside. So if that's your priority, yeah. you could check it out. And then there are also some private halls that you can look into, which are a lot more expensive mm -hmm. than regular intercollegiate halls. But they're also a lot nicer. They're a good option if you have missed the, op like the, the deadline. deadline to apply, because mm -hmm. there's a quite an early deadline. I think it's like May or something to really apply to. So to early early. For, for UCL it was, okay. literally. You would get your offer and you'd have to apply to I halls. I remember and you'd have like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was June. Yeah, maybe early. June, but it was definitely like before like August, you know, before you actually had your results mm -hmm. You had to do, I think you had to do the whole thing So if you are applying later or you know, maybe it's not your first choice of uni, whatever Like if you miss the note on the on the application, private halls is a good option mm -hmm. um, Because it's not so rigid, you can just, you can always find a room there Yeah. Um, the thing is though, the good ones, the central ones, the nice ones, they often get Sold out really soon because everyone. So, like for example, Urbanest. Mm -hmm. um, they have where are they? Westminster. Westminster. They've got a few, I think. A uh, Tower Bridge, I think. But they're really popular. So often they don't really have any rooms after they, st you know, they sell out really quickly. Also, Unite as well Unite. for private halls. There's one St Pancras Way. Mm -hmm. I know it was like popular with UCL people because it's quite close and um, if you go to King's and you're by the Waterloo campus there's Paris Gardens mm. some of my friends stayed there they said it was really nice mm. we get the social aspect and also yeah. yeah yeah I think private halls I think often people think they're not sociable mm -hmm. maybe but I don't think that's true I don't know Are I mean, they? I, you know what? I some of them it really depends on the year depends. I guess and like and the, it's the I same with halls location. though, you never know, you know, yeah. it might be a fun halls, but for whatever reason, like, you just don't so like, gel with the people yeah. or whatever, like, it's, it's hard to kind of predict these things. It's just, you have to be lucky, basically. Yeah, yeah. but I would say on the whole, most people have a good time in halls. Mm -hmm. um, You'll always yeah. find, like, like, someone. Yeah, 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 yeah for mm -hmm. sure. And then you can always make your own friends, like, within your Oh course. yeah, that's the other thing, it, say for whatever reason you really don't, get on with your halls, uh, like flatmates, mm -hmm. then you, you have your course, you have like clubs and societies, like there's so many other ways to socialise, so yeah. it's not, it really isn't the be all and end all. No, um, like you shouldn't worry, like I used to be so worried when I was booking my accommodation, I was like... Yeah, it's, it's stressful. All of them. Because like it's, you know, you're in like a new city, mm -hmm. and like it's, it's an intense city, like, um, so yeah, it is stress, but like honestly, it's it's gonna it'll work out fine like yeah. i would i would recommend actually yeah i think location is important so I, um so for example yeah if you're at a halls that is near the university but if you don't get on with the people in your halls it's fine because you can so easily just go to you know it's like a walk away to go to meet other people mm -hmm. so maybe that's a good like you know like buffer or just, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching and you. hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave any comments if you have any questions uh, for us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, any questions about university, what life is like at university. Yeah. Uh, you can also DM me on Instagram. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye.